their qualification back on track. As for Andorra, well, they're still looking for their uh, first point in uh, this World Cup uh, qualifying uh, competition. Well, there's the Andorra side. They lost uh, last month to Portugal th by three goals, and it was a good result for them. They've had to make one change with uh, Bernaus, the player not playing. He's decided to play for his Spanish club. As for the Netherlands, four changes in this side from the side that lost uh, to Portugal back in uh, November. We are underway with Andorra in the red and yellow, and the Dutch inside then you can have a shot or he can put in pinpoint accuracy because of his left foot now Frank de Boer first cap player in Dutch history 87th cap tonight Zenden Bosfeld good cross in the header and that's the opening goal from Patrick Kluivert Well, a pinpoint accurate cross, and Patrick Kluivert gets his second goal of this World Cup qualifying campaign and gives the Dutch a lead inside of nine minutes. Superb. An absolute lesson in simplicity, really, Mike. They give Bosfeld the space. He's picked out Kluivert, and that is a magnificent header. Watch him rise, control himself in the air, and he had picked out a spot and planted it there. You just felt with the accuracy from the crosses that the Dutch were getting ever so close, it finally broke through. So Patrick Kleinberg gets his 30th international goal, and tonight he's only playing his 51st match for the Dutch. So they're certainly not a team that can be underestimated. And you know, they're the sort of team that all of a sudden you know are going to come up with a shock result. The Faroe Islands have done it. All the small teams try to come up with one. And for a team like the Netherlands, I suppose the worry is that this might be the day. Well, I can't see it. Absolutely can't see it, Mike. Right? The puzzle for the Dutch is trying to break this side down. Who's crossing? The Davids nodding it forward. Now the shot, Van Bommel, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, and now it's two. Well, Mark Van Bommel shot too hot to handle for uh, Coldo. And there was Chelsea's Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank on the right spot at the right time to be able to knock that one home. And it went through the centre forward, Mike, and that's the variation they needed. Watch when it comes back. It goes through Clivert. He lays it back softly for Van Bommel. Good save by the goalkeeper. But the parry was right into the path of Hasselbank. Well hit ball from Van Bommel. There's Hasselbank sniffing one out. And one runners up from Europe for the nine European groups. And the team who finished third in Asia will all go into a draw. A match to be played on a home and away basis with the five winners. Looking their spot in uh, Japan and Korea. And the Dutch. Thanks to Pierre van Hoydon, scored again here. What a powerful header. There are appeals for offside. There was appeals that the ball didn't cross the line. But the Croatian official on the far side had no hesitation. And Pierre van Hoydon, one of his first touches. Well, that's frightening, Mike. How good that header was. Look at him falling away from an acute angle. What a header from van Hoydon. I think it just bounces on the other side of the line. You might get a better indication there off the crossbar. And it's a difficult one to say, but just for him to control his body, snap the header on the target. And of course, uh, themselves lost to Portugal. In uh, Holland. It's back on uh, the 10th of November. Oh as Pierre van Hoydonk stakes a claim for that Wednesday night match with his second goal. Well, he's only been on the field 12 minutes. Goalkeeper there given no chance. Great finish from Pierre van Hoydonk. Well, that's a measure of the man. That is an absolute special finish. 
lofted in by Coco. Looking for the head of Van Hoydon, but it dropped at his feet. And watch the way he shapes his body in the air and just uses technique, his instep, to guide this one into the top corner. Tip your hat to him. I think he's had two touches in this match. One header, in off the crossbar. A thumping shot. Sendin and Othmars, they've got the wingers, they've got the strikers we talked about. Abundance, really. Mark Van Bommel, and it's five. Well, he deserves a goal, Mark Van Bommel. He's had an outstanding game, and even the Dutch supporters stand and applaud. That description you made earlier that uh, he's very much like uh, Vim Yonk and uh, Vim Yonk would have been proud of this just outside the penalty area. Well, he's come forward on a number of occasions, Van Bommel, and watch him just calmly stride forward. He has a quick look up. And that is a well-placed shot. Watch him just smack that one low. He's played a fine game. He really does deserve to get his name on the score sheet. Well, it's his first in damages to David, but I think they're going to need him against Portugal. Yes, that's perhaps the one down spot tonight for the Dutch, but the scoreboard certainly isn't. Patrick Kleiber set them on their way, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank after 36 minutes. Two goals from Pierre Van Hoydonk after he came on as a substitute, and then Mark Van Bommel completing a...